Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this part of the training, we're going to focus on the characteristics of the Modicon M221. So, if we go to the presentation, let's start seeing one of the functionalities that we have, one of the characteristics, which is the run and stop switch that we have on the front of this PLC. On the front of this PLC, we have this that we can remove, okay, here. And in here we have the switch in order to put the PLC in run and stop. So sometimes when, the, when we download the application to the controller and it says that the PLC is in a stop and we don't know why, the main cause is that the PLC is in stop because we haven't switched this to run. Okay, so in order to change the PLC from stop to run, we just remove this and just put it into run. Okay, in the software, we also have the possibility to assign the run and stop functionality to one of the digital inputs that we can see that later. So if we continue with the presentation, let's see the next one. The next one is to use the SD card, okay? That is also in the same part next to the switch of run and stop. Below the below or above the run and stop depend on the control that you have as it's in the same one okay here there is one space for the sd card okay you can use one of the schneider electric or you can use one with less than um, 16 gigabytes if i'm not wrong we just put the sd card in here and we can clone the application that we have stored in the plc or we can make some backup of the program or the variables that we have that we're going to see that later in the future we can also uh, make the upgrade of the firmware or downgrade of the firmware using the SD card. So let's go back to the presentation. The next feature is the communication. Okay, so in this PLC, it's just going to use the standard one with the TM221C. In the front of the PLC, we have um, the mod was serial communication port, which is this one. And if your PLC doesn't have the TM221CE or M21ME, it means that you have only the serial one. But if you have the E on the reference, it means that you have the Ethernet port, which is the one on the back, on the bottom. Okay, and you can see there are some LEDs that indicate communication on the Ethernet port when you are connected with something. So. If your PLC has the on the reference the E, it means for Ethernet, so you can have it. Okay, so if we go back to the presentation, there is something that you need to know is that you can see here on the left part, this is the Modicon, the book version. Okay, you also have the possibility to have the Ethernet, and you can identify with the green part on the port. Okay, in the case of the Modicon with the book, okay, all the PLCs, okay, both book and the standard one comes with Modbus serial. But in the particular case of the book one, if you don't have the Ethernet port, it comes with two it with two Modbus serial port. Okay, so that is one difference between these two models. And there is another area about the communication port, which is the USB, the mini USB that you can have in here. You have in the top, this one for the switch and the SD card. And then here at the bottom, you have the communication port to use the mini USB. Probably you cannot see it in there, but isn't there. When you remove this part over here, let me just go back to the presentation. You can see here in the bottom, that you have the mini USB 
in order to connect with the PLC. And in Schneider, we have these two reference in order to connect with the PLC in case you want it. Let's go back to the next part of characteristics. Okay, the next one is a very useful one. In the PLCs, in this one PLC, we know that we have the Modbus CDL, okay, and you can use a RJ45 connector port for Modbus serial in both of them. So there is one useful remote display, which is this one. Okay, this one is the pack part. This one is similar to the display that we have for some of our our um, Altibar drives. It's not the same, but it's similar. The same sizes, but different area to touch. And the communication from this graphic display to the Modicon M221 is via Modbus serial. We can use one of the cables to connect to the PLC in order to share information. Um, there is a lot of functionalities oriented to this PLC that we're going to cover that in a, in a specific module that we are going to see how to program this one, how to download the firmware and so on. It's very straightforward. So we're going to see that later. And we can use this one only with the Modicon M221. If we go back to the presentation, let's see the next future. The next future is about the cartridge. In the front of the Modicon M221, we have the possibility to use cartridge. So let me just go back here. We have different cartridge, one for communication, one for um, analog CEOs and so for applications. And let me, show, let me just show you. In the front on the Modicon N221, uh, we have the possibility to remove this part. Okay. Like this. And insert one of the communication card cartridge, for example, this one. Okay, this one is the box. This one is for the serial line that we're going to use later. Uh, let me just open this so I can show you. Just hold on. There we go. So this one, for example, is one cartridge that we can use for mobile serial communication. Okay. This can be used for, for example, scanning the network and then communicate with another device over the serial communication port that we have on the PLC. Just hold on a minute. Okay, good. Just organize this. So if we go back to the presentation, we have the cartridge and we can use only one cartridge. Okay. For example, for the, if we go back here in the presentation, only the standard ones allows you to use cartridge. Okay. You have this space available, but and you can see this one, there is no place to use the cartridge. Okay. And the only one that accepts two cartridge is the version of 40 iOS. The other one's only just one. If we continue with this presentation. In the past, I told you that if we don't have enough iOS, if we don't have enough iOS, we can use expansion models. Okay, as you can see there in the presentation, the expansion models are the TN3 family, but we can also use um, the bus coupler to extend our um, IOS of the PLC. So we have the TN3 models, and I'm going to show you here. We have the TN3 models, okay, those ones. And we have the bus coupler. For this case, we had the Modbus communication. Probably you cannot see it well, but this one is for Modbus communication, Modbus serial communication. We also have for Ethernet communication, Modbus TCP. 
um, in the case of the T entry models, okay, I'm going to show you in the presentation. The T entry models are in the right part of the PLC, okay, and you can put up to seven, and then you can use the transmission and receiver to extend that seven to fourteen, but it will depend on the actual PLC that you have in order to validate this. And then we can also use the Ethernet or the mode serial to extend using the bus coupler. More information about the TN3 models are in this catalog here. I shall show you on this one. If we go to tshicat.com, we can go to PLCs, PAC, and all the controllers. We can select the Modicon N221. As you can see here, the PLC catalog and the TN3 catalog. You want to check the complete solution that we have for expansion of IOS and also for the bus coupler. In the case of the Modicon N221, the M221 doesn't have can open, so this one is not possible to use with the M221, only the serial line and the Modbus TCP. So there is something important here that we're going to cover later, but I need to tell you. When you have the Modicon M21, okay, you can see that there is a sticker in here that says do not remove protection unless connection and expansion model. So if we have one of the expansion models, uh, like this one, which is a TM3, TM3, which is for analog IOS, okay, it's a mix. You can see that in the oops, left part of this PLC, of this IO model, you can see there is some kind of connector that you can use along with the PLC in order to connect them. And if you need to extend, okay, the IOS, you can see there is another sticker with the same definition. Remove this sticker to connect the sponge model so you can use on the right of this IO model. Okay, so let's go to the presentation and see what do we have. Another solution, another characteristics of this one, of this PLC is the um, inputs and outputs, but the fast one, okay, we had the possibility to use encoder to use the high speed counter in order to use encoder or we can use um, sensors to use a fast speed counter, the single the single one, okay, not to use encoder. Also, we can use the encoders or we can use uh, something that we need to measure with high speed. And then we had the possibility to use the PTO of this PLC in order to communicate, for example, you can see in there, the servo drives the lection 28 using the PTO pulses. Another functionality they haven't mentioned is the possibility to use the analog inputs. This PLC, the Modicon N21, have, have the analog input embedder, two analog inputs. When you have the when you have this N21, it comes with this cable with this cable okay this one is the connector in order to use the analog input that comes in here you can remove this with a screwdriver and then you can connect the connect and use the analog inputs of the modicon m221 if we go back to the presentation here okay so with the Modicon N21, we have fast input to use with encoder or something that we need to measure. And if I know wrong, you have the high speed counter is up to 100 kilohertz, if I know wrong. We want to cover that later. So we can use that with encoders to measure something that you want and then use the PTO of the, PL of the PLC to, to use it with the servo drive okay depend on the controller okay you can use two or four up to four outputs uh, to use with the pto of the plc 
So if we now talk about functionalities, okay, inside the software, in the software we can use PID plus AutoTune that you can see here in the in the image. Okay, we can use the PID controller and then we can use the AutoTune to um, to tune in the control loop that we have. And then we have the grab set from the grab set language. Instead of using ladder or assembler, we can use the grab set language. And we can use grab set plus ladder plus this uh, instruction list. We continue with this part of the presentation. The idea, this is a complete idea of the modicon M221. Okay, so as you can see here in the image, you have for the controller C and so on, and from the boot one M so on. We have the possibility to use the Ethernet to communicate with another platform to a SCADA or an HMI. We can use the serial line of the PLC in order to connect with the graphic display that we showed you before in both of them, or we can use one of our Harmony HMIs, Mahalis Harmony HMIs in order to control the PLC, or we can also use the Modbus serial to connect to the drives, okay, as you can see here in this image, okay, in this case are ATB12 or ATB312, but you can use with another RT bar over Modbus serial, and we can also use the PLC to connect to Lexion 28 using PTO, okay, and we can also use the IOS of the PLC to measure different physical units, okay, like pressure, temperature, flow, weight, using the analog IOS, and we can also use the fast input of the PLC to use it with encoders. So, this is it for the presentation of the characteristics of this PLC. But if you have any other questions, just give us a call or send us an email to this email. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.